not Thursday, Ben's Brick Designs, Ben here. Um, we didn't stream yesterday because I didn't really have anything to build, but today I do. And I'm joined by my uh, my son, comrade. comrade, brother in bricks, my son Greg. Um, he's joined me before in a couple of them where you just came over and messed with my parts. Yeah, he's just like, hey, look at this, I'm taking all your parts. So we're going to do a little building today. I finally got in from Lego. I got these two micro fighters that we're going to build. The Y-Wing and uh, Kylo Ren's uh, Epsilon class shuttle. It says Kylo Ren shuttle, but it's an Epsilon or Epsilon class. And I also got a, a pack of um, Sith battle pack, Sith trooper battle pack. Um, I was a little upset because I got this specifically to get this guy, right? Because um, you've got two jump troopers and... Um, what looks like, you know, a commander of some kind of first order commander, but it turns out I didn't need this. I got this specifically to make, and I'm going to show you this now. And this, I got this specifically for, oh, I was going to turn this over real quick for that, uh, first order tie dagger. And it turns out I didn't need it because the first order tie dagger is piloted by a first order, um, Come on, mute. Turns out. <laughs> Sounded like you said farts. Hey, Paula. How's it going? Paula thinks we said farts. Um, let me go over She's to here. Farts. She's farts. Open a browser. Anyway, I uh, I didn't need it because it was a regular first order TIE pilot. So it doesn't really matter. But we're going to uh, build it anyway. I'd also like to show off a little bit of the other models that I've been building. Um, so this one is again the tie dagger this is from the rise of Skywalker um, this didn't need to be this red guy like a Sith trooper he could be although I might keep it like that who knows um, and then this is a Sith interdictor cruiser and this is from the early days of like the the Knights of the Old Republic um, and I forget the captain's name in here he's a guy that you see in one of the video games um, and then this is a TIE Experimental Mark I. There's apparently four of these, four of these experimental TIE fighters. What's up, Ingrid? How's it going? Nice to see you. Um, and then finally, this was old Han Solo's, uh, the Aravana, which was a certain class of frigate. <laughs> Can't remember the type of frigate it is. But anyway, got those done. Um, and, here, and I think we already talked about this. This was the final Razor Crest for Mandalorian. Pretty happy with that one. I'm going to order parts for that. I've also ordered the... Uh, Is that Mando? The Mandalorian, yeah. That's a Jin, uh, Din Djarin. And um, I've got his... Hi, Dallas. Um, I've got his battle pack, the Mandalorian battle pack, coming. It's back ordered. It's probably going to be here by the end of the month. So are you having fun with those clamps? Oh. Make sure to watch those later. So anyway, this is probably going to wow. be a pretty short stream. Um... We are um, not going to be here too long because he's not feeling well, but I thought we'd get yeah. some building going on. And if you weren't here last week, this is what we built last week, or I built last week. This is the T-16 pilot, which I think I'm going to rebrand with uh, um, Big's Dark Lighter instead of this just random pilot. I might build another one. We'll see. And then this is, the, of course, the Bantha. This was a funny one. I like this one. Anyway, what... Great collection. No, the one above it. Bruh, your kid okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks, no, I'm Panda. not okay. I'm Hi, Josh. not okay. No, he's got a sore throat, allergy. It's he's cedar. About mentally. Oh, no, mentally he's not okay at all. So, all right, let's start to build him. Um, so, he's, cedar has been a problem here lately, and everybody's just suffering from it. I don't think I suffer from cedar fever as much as everybody else, but I think I do suffer from juniper, and um, also no beers tonight, I'm not drinking any beers tonight. How could you? Well, Am I even offer me a beer? You don't need a beer. Maybe I do need a beer. No, you're driving later. I don't drive at all. Do you want to win something, Dad? I don't want to win anything. Sure you don't want to win anything? I do. Or Trust me, they've had enough nim? product feedback from me. You want to nim something? To nim, to mew, to mew. 
All right. Oh, wait, I need to put this in the show. Yeah. I should be doing this. I should. I wonder what kind of feedback you get or that you can give to win. Has anybody ever wondered that? What's up, Kevin? So you design on a program too? Yes, Panda. Panda is kawaii. Panda is kawaii. Um, I also design on uh, the Stud IO program that Bricklink puts out, our studio. Um, and I do a lot of micro fighters. Uh, I might go grab one or two of them here to show you. Okay, have fun. Beth's gonna go pick up a puppy. Bring her home. Haley. Oh. Yeah, not, not just a new puppy. Haley. Or, I'm not getting. Married. Hi, Gala. Yes, uh, Ingrid, drink one for me this time. Kevin, no beers tonight because basically, um, due to the wedding, the upcoming wedding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take you an hour and a half to build this little set. <laughs> the upcoming what? engagement. The, what? the upcoming no, wedding. wedding. The engagement's already happening. Yeah. Um, oh, I am going to... We've heard it a million times. Beth and I are going to be trying to lose some weight. Yes. And also, we I just didn't it. get a chance to stop by the store and save money. So, yeah. um, I do... I am, however, drinking a nice big thing of coffee with a bit of rum in it. So, because it's, it's getting chilly here and there's got a bad storm coming. So, I thought I'd do this instead. Also, um, since Kevin's here, um, for those of you who might want to join up, um, Kevin does a thing called um, a doodle stream where he he films himself peeing. No, he um, he draws. He's got a Wacom tablet or another kind of tablet, and he does some doodles. He's a fantastic cartoonist and artist overall, and uh, he does a thing where he draws, and people in the chat suggest different characters, and he'll draw those. Um, and it's kind of a uh, thing to help him. Frank Cayetti. What's up, Frank Cayetti? Long time no see, man. Um, and so he's going to start doing a collaborative, well, collaborative, but he's going to do like a, a group um, stream with other artists. And I get to be the first one on the, the doodle stream. So on January 31st, Friday, check it out. I think at 9 a.m., something like that. Um, we'll, we'll be kicking that off. He's going to probably have his tablet out. I'm just going to have a, some sketch paper and uh, like a marker and some stuff. So, and here's Kylo Ren. Here's your Kylo Ren for you. Oh, there's Kylo Ren. This is a uh, broke mask Kylo Ren. He's got the, You're broke. whatever the, uh, the mask thing. So there's a term for, uh, breaking. It's a Japanese term for breaking something and then putting it back together. And then the, the way it's put back together is now stronger than it was before, but it's also prettier. You're such a nerd. Um, it's usually done with gold. Well, everything Panda is quiet, so you only design small Lego builds? Uh, no. Um, I like designing small Lego builds. I've got 150, 200 micro fighter designs. Oh my god, you should see the room. Um, <laughs> in terms of designing. Um, but I've also done... I'm going to beat you, Dad. The, the, uh, state, the Texas State Capitol here in Austin, and I did that in studio, and it basically broke the program. Uh, it was 65,000 pieces. Did that? Oh, and I did the UT Tower back there, um, the University of Texas Tower, Clock Tower. It makes sense. Um, the, um, the, the Capitol was 65,000 pieces, and the, trying to run that in studio was kind of uh, a monster. Um, I've also done... A um, kind of a large build that I was able to get for a friend. Um, it was kind of a commission. Um, I did an RQ4 Global Hawk, which is a drone plane. Um, her wife uh, is a pilot of one of those, and so for Christmas she asked me to design it, and they ordered the parts for it so she could have it for Christmas. So that was cool. Um, and I still have. I I ordered it myself and built it myself and took it to a Brick Fiesta in Austin, um, and it was really fun. Yeah, the uh, the the problem with and so uh, Panda Panda's Quizen uh, Twitch says been using the LDD since August, but the request list is crazy. Um, I don't know how often they're going to be updating that. And honestly, they uh, they just bought. Oh, she's trying to get in there, thinking that Beth's in there. Uh, they just bought Bricklink. Uh, Lego bought Bricklink. Um, so we're all kind of freaking out and trying to figure out how, um, 
um, what what that's going to entail for sellers and buyers, and what it's going to do to studio and um, those kinds of things. So we're we're hoping because studio doesn't have um, doesn't have the kind of it's a different feel than LDD. LDD is more of a CAD program, mm -hmm. and I feel like um, I feel like Studio is more like a Photoshop or an Illustrator program more than a CAD program. Um, it has different functionality, but I think the catalog is a little deeper. But at the same time, it's also they they, they pick and choose which ones they want to do. Like a lot of the minifigure stuff, they don't have, um, which is why if you see a lot of the designs I have where I'm like making up custom Star Wars characters. Um, it's because they don't have a lot of, they don't even have like clone helmets or anything in there, which is kind of weird. So, <laughs> how are you doing over there, Chief? Good. Yeah? Anybody has any questions for me, I'm just chilling. Yeah. You can ask Greg stuff. I'm constantly looking at the chat and reminding him to answer stuff, so. Oh, I'm always looking at the chat. Too. Sure. I am. Mm -hmm. Um... Greg actually turned me on today to a new Discord channel, so I'm hoping that I can get some new people um, like from there. Seems like you were blowing up for a second ago. Um, yeah, Ingrid's usually on. Uh, Kevin comes on every once in a while, so that's nice. Josh is usually here. Um, I can get one or two people in um, Facebook to hang out for a little bit. So, Panda is Kawaii. There's a couple Lego uh, Discords. There's one that it's a... Uh, what was it called? Hey. What's it called? It's um, Just Lego Things. Just Lego Things is the one he just found for me today. And the other one is uh, the, uh, Brick Builders, um, which is more about, not more about, but it's a lot of uh, Lego streamers. Uh, so people who do this kind of stuff. Um, and they'll either have groups um, that they stream with or they'll have uh, hangouts, which is kind of... Um, I, am his, I am his son. Yes. yes, Gala. Greg is my son. He is my 15-year-old son. You were talking Boy, about streams. Huh? You were talking about Discord streams. Uh, <clears throat> losing my voice. How? <sighs> talking too much. Stop talking then. Yeah, right. Um, Greg is my youngest. My oldest is in college. She's actually back right now. She's hanging out at uh, his house. She has a job, so she's not. They there. live just up the street. Um, yeah, she's probably at work right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Drink enough. Do it. Drink enough. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Oh, Wait, I should. I missed a piece. Uh oh. Uh oh. Slow down. Slow your old man. No, I'm almost done. No, you're not almost done. I'm on page nineteen. What page are you on? Yeah. Shut up. This is going to be a really slow stream. I might do some designing after this and let you go. Because I know you don't want to be here for that. Dad, I don't care. I will, Panda. Thank you. I've actually got one for this channel. Um, for my, uh, just it'll it'll link into the Discord group when um, anything goes live. So I've got one for Ben's Brick Designs, and so I should probably promote that a little <laughs> bit sure. and um, post some photos in it and stuff because I, um, I, I kind of do a little design most days. Um, it doesn't take long to get one done. You should both, you both should do a Discord together, honestly. Um, yeah, sure. Well, I've made here's the problem with him. He's in school, and I don't want to take him out of school, and I don't want him to do take me out of school. Do it. That will not let you do your work because I feel like you should be focusing on your work. <sighs> because someone wants to be an aerospace engineer at some point. Everybody wants to be an aer aerospace engineer at I some did. point. I did. You either want to be an aerospace engineer, a marine biologist, or a pilot. I'm pretty sure those are some of the like main crews when you're a kid. I made a boat. Good job. You made a boat, Ember Effer. I'm on a boat. Oh, yeah? Panda's in school. Panda Kowalski says, I'm in school. Why are Panda you in is school Kowalski. at, like... No, I think they mean they're, yeah, they're a student. <clears throat> Panda, Panda Kowalski. No, Panda is Kawhi. Oh, draw has never did. He never wanted to be an aerospace engineer. You never did? Did you always want to be an artist, Kevin? I mean, because I, I was an artist from when I was young. Dude, that's And nice. I never, it was one of those where everybody's an artist when they're a kid, but the artists who are adults just were the ones who never stopped drawing. I need to stop missing pieces. Um, 
and I just kind of never stopped. I had I did art classes in high school and college, and no, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to follow in his footsteps. Oh, come on. Well, I'm not actively a Lego designer. I do IT. I just do this for fun. Yeah, nerd. Although, every time I create a new one, I post it on, I post it at Lego. And I'm like, hey, look at this, guys. New micro fighter. You guys didn't do this one. Well, maybe I actually have... <laughs> yeah, look at that. They yeah. <laughs> Spent 16 hours designing models on LDD, like, although I'm a student. I was going to say yeah, something, man. but I won't be me on your screen. Yeah, maybe you should study more, I think is what he was going to say. No. That's not a, at all that's what we were not, thinking. That's not what I was going to say at all. Maybe you should study more. Maybe I should actually get it. What's with the Jedi hood? I'm, I like hoodies. I know. I'm just oh. giving you crap. A day in the weekend, but you have to study and pass. Dude, this yes. whole week, this whole week, I have been, I have been thinking it's like Wednesday when it was like today. I, today I thought it was Wednesday. No, it's Friday. Yeah, he gets in the car and he's like, "Wait, today's Friday?" I'm like, "Yep, today is Friday, sir." So yeah. My nephew got an art degree. He currently works in a fast food place. So. <laughs> I went to college. I went to college up in Denver, and I went to college for six years. And my first major was music theater, because I got a scholarship to sing. Believe it or not, um, I have a singing voice, and I would. I got a scholarship from my high school to go into music theater. No. <laughs> no. And that paid for, and back in the day, it was a state college, and I think my tuition was like $800 a semester. It was really ridiculously low. Um, but even then, I still had to defer and pay it myself. And, um, and then after a while, I uh, decided that I wanted to, because I really didn't want to be in music theater, because I really didn't think I had the voice to be in anything else, other than like the sidekick comedic kind of roles and I was like well I really need to get back into drawing so I kind of switched to illustration as my major and the problem with that was um, by the time I had switched I already had so many credit hours that I went to college for like six years and by the time I was done I had like 90 something credit hours I made a football goal <laughs> so by the I could have graduated with a communications degree or something, like had I just taken like a handful more classes, but I didn't. Um, but I, you know, I make a pretty good living now, so I'm not too sad about it. And at the time, I was trying to get into comic books as an illustrator, and uh, there was just no real jobs for comic book illust illustrators anywhere. Um, except for making comics. Except for doing your own. So I thought, and I think I've got this piece wrong, so I'm going to change this out. I thought what I was going to do is, like, Image Comics was a... Oh, that's not the... Okay. No, that's not the piece I thought it was. Image Comics was a big thing, so I thought, that's what I'll do is Image Comics. And uh, it turns out that I wasn't as talented as I thought I was. So I ended up not doing that. Why is that? You sold paintings for five hundred dollars. Well, you were. Oh uh, yeah. I was locked into artists my entire life. My whole family was so puzzled by my twelve-year Lego career. I got. <laughs> um, yeah. So, like, I mean, that's a good example, Kevin. Um, I actually think that I've got a wrong piece color here. I don't think it matters Which piece? though. This one, look, at, it's supposed to be light gray, and it's not. And there's no other, oh wait, maybe under there. Thinking that I probably, yeah, probably put that in wrong. <clears throat> so at the time, Kevin, I'll, I'll tell you a story. Um, I have constantly been passed up, I feel. Not passed up, but passed by by contemporaries. When I was doing, and there's nobody's fault but my own, like, I had kids and a job, and I could have like um, done so many things with my art, but I didn't. Um, so I ended up kind of falling back on just you know IT because I could do that and I could get certification and I could get training without actually having to go to school. But I'm always like, you know, 
kind of regretting, but not really regretting the fact that I didn't get into comics. I just didn't have all the time in the world to do the comics that I wanted to do and the work that I know everybody else was putting in. And so there was a lot of my contemporaries that kind of, because they could, they were younger, they were able to put in the hours and draw all the time. And can I have this piece back? God damn it. Yes, thank you. Stole it forever. Again. Yeah, I know. You know? Well, I did when I got to the point I didn't have it. I was like, well, that little jerk stole it. Wanting to study four things. So, what four things, Panda? What four things do you want to study? Let's hear it. So, yeah, long story short, now I designed Lego and I kind of was like, I want to, I'd love to be able to do this for a living. I'd love to be able to design Lego for a living, but every time I see sort of a, any sort of job posting for it, because I have a resume at Lego I Corporate, start. and I just renew it every year, and I, you know, but I think to be a designer, you have to kind of go up through the ranks of, um, like, toy design in general. Um, and I don't know, Ingrid's a beginner. So, Mr. Hinkle, I have my own comic. It's around here somewhere. I must have done it. That's what I'm going to do. Here is a comic that I made back in 2005 called Project Gemini. Oh, I'm going to be talking about This is the shirt that you had the other day. It's my own comic label. Oh, that was your shirt? Polaris Comics. It's just a black and white comic. It's just pencils. I didn't do any inks, but you can see. I actually did it. Um... I rushed it really bad. It's supposed to be a science fiction robot kind of thing. Um, but this is what I was doing for a very long time. This comic book work. Carpentry. I also Neat. did a little ash can for it. A smaller comic. You're an ash can. I'm an ash can. Yeah, I mean, I did that in, over a summer. Carpentry. That's fantastic, dude. I wish I had carpentry some mechanic carpentry skills. Hardware. Carpentry, mechanic, computer hardware, and coding or architecture car design. You know what that's going to get you? You're going to be like a, Everywhere. a car designer. Like, you'll have the skills to be able to do any kind of construction, um, visualizing any kind of design to completion or design to, like, model uh, scale. Yeah, that's some good stuff, man. Burp, burp, burp. Burp, burp, burp. I didn't put the little trigger in here. So many extra pieces on this one. I hate stud shooters. I hate them. I think they're dumb. They're dumb. I get the idea. It's a play thing, but man, I don't like it. <clears throat> so, no, 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 no. What's up, Winter? Hi, Winter. How's hey, Edison? You got a thumbs up. <laughs> I did get a thumbs up. Got a couple thumbs up. All right, so here's Kylo Ren in his shuttle, his Upsilon class shuttle. And I wish this would focus better, but that's, you can see it there. That's it. And here's, and it, his lightsaber doesn't, there's no clip to put his lightsaber on anywhere else. So he either has to hold it or you just kind of have to deal with him not having it. So that's what it looks like with him holding it. Carpentry. Architecture or car design is hard to get into. I bet. I mean, once you're an architect, man, wow. I do like shooters. I like these shooters. I think I, I like the spring-loaded, the long ones better because they try to hide those, but you end up having to accidentally hit those and they go shooting out. Winter says hi. Hello. So here's your extra pieces. I guess technically you get two extra of these because you're shooting. Right, so you get those extra ones. Oh. And then here's mm -hmm. all the extra. There's a lightsaber and a trigger, and I guess the best part of this is the... All of it, so I can put it together. The one by one with the, the nub on it, with the post. That's probably good. I don't have too many of those. So yeah, there's that. And I'm going to put these in my extra bin bin, extra parts bin. All right, so... I'm going to um, build the next one. No, you're going to finish that one. I'm going to start this next no, one. I'm you can finish it. it. You can do it later. On stream. 
All right, so next one we're going to do, and I'll let, steal a maybe I'll put, I didn't steal anything from you. Are you sure? Is the uh, battle pack. I just want to do the figures, and then Greg Where's can the do the thing, I guess. Where's the piece? What piece are you looking for? Eli. Which piece are you looking for? That one. Oh, yeah, maybe. Is it still in a bag or something? Sometimes it's in a bag. And if you're actually missing it, let me know. So no, I'm like actually. I'm not convinced. These microfighters were in such high demand um, that I wouldn't be surprised if. Do you know where the pieces are? Yes, I know where the pieces are. You've been my dad for. Well, they're in the bottom. I know where the pieces are. Second bottom shelf. I think I wouldn't be surprised if. A lot of these actually were missing pieces or had bad prints on them because they were rushed. They kind of were rushed, I feel like. But, I mean, you know, the weighing and the QA is still there for everything, so it's not like whatever. Yes, we are both new to the LEGO Discord. If by the LEGO Discord you mean the Just LEGO Things Discord, yes. Oh, I did invite a bunch of them. Um, so that's if, if anyone's here from that, that's super cool. Thanks for being here. Um, if not... No, I'm not new to the other one that I was mentioning. I've been on that for like a year or so. Yeah, so Kevin, uh, the one he was talking about, it's called Just Lego Things, and I think it's just groups of people. It's kind of the same as the brick building one, but the brick building one is more focused on the streaming aspect, um, the community aspect of people getting together. Um, and either doing hangouts, which we can't do anymore, or just, you know, individual streams. Why can't you do Hangouts? Google did away with Hangouts. What is that? Hangouts is a like a stream, but you but everybody can kind of stream at the same time, and it's got like oh, four yeah, to six that. windows or something like that. Forty six. Four to six windows. Forty six. Forty six windows. Oh, cool! Thanks, Gala. Yeah, I hadn't. I'm glad that it was. It's up. I'm not sure that it works for everybody, but um, I'm glad that it's. You're able to see it. Um, I used to have a thing up on the screen that had all the chats going by, but I, it's like this big and I didn't. Are you missing another one? Yes! Which? What? It's on you. I don't think you've got this nah. right, dude. Shut up. Oh, alright. Shutting up, sir. Make sure you jiggle the table a lot. Stop it. Um, na, da, 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 da. Yeah, I didn't know real life. I didn't know real life people did this on Twitch, honestly. Not many people do Lego stuff on Twitch. I know Kevin just started a, little, just while, a little while ago. Actually, I started in on YouTube, but then I have a friend on Mixer who also uh, streams her... It's She does like a variety show. Her and her friend... Uh, Shout out to Goldilocks and the Bear. Um, they do well, kind of a, a variety uh, show where they watch TV, they do skits, they sing songs, they play video games. I mean, they, they do kind of a lot. It's just kind of a, a mishmash of stuff. Um, ooh, this guy's got a backpack. Sweet. So she turned me on to actually using Twitch, and at the time I was just thinking of just doing YouTube. Um, so I'm glad I kind of did that because then I got into Twitch as well, and then I found Restream and Come on. yeah, I'm glad that. Um, so for those on not here, um, <laughs> hi Cat, thanks for the hello, thanks for coming by, guys. Uh oh, start on stop with Twitch Lego content, just art from now. Yeah. There's not many people on Twitch or Mixer, especially Mixer. Mixer is kind of, there's not a whole lot of people there. But they do, um, there's not a lot of Lego content. There is some, but there's not a lot. So I was hoping that I would have kind of a nice little niche market thing, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Are these all the same heads? These are all the same heads. Oh, one of these is not double-sided. None of them are double-sided. Okay, so this guy is an angry guy. I'm angry. I don't know if you guys 
to see this. Okay, so this is one of the jet troopers. So it says for me to not launch it at faces, but I'm real tempted to just... Just what, to Greg? For. Just what? Kill you. I'd rather not. Yeah, that'd be quite brutal. You've done it since September. Trust He'll me, you get since a September. Oh. oh, yeah, I've been doing this since May, and I think I've got on YouTube about 130 subs, oh. and I think maybe 5 or 10 on Twitch, and I don't have any on Mixer. I get the... Well, no, I got a couple on Mixer because they're my friends. They're my... Well, that gets <laughs> shot over there. I've got a couple local yeah. friends... Um, that are on it. They're the ones who do the show. And then another guy who does a beer uh, podcast or a beer stream. Um, he talks about beer news and goes to um, festivals and stuff like that. Here's your jet trooper. Got that cool backpack thing going on. If you can see that from here. All right. You want to put guys together or do you want to put the set together? All right. Well, let me get the guys out of the way. Let me put this over here. Show them what we did. Yeah. So let me get the guys out of the way. And you can start on, um, I'm going to take these extra, Matt, so yeah, extra go. bits from the Y-Wing, nothing really great, I guess, I mean, that gun's been around since pirate days, this is probably the best thing, this um, pneumatic oh! T-junction, yeah, please don't kick that, <laughs> that's, that's a thing, alright, so, you can have all this, I may get some parts out of it later, these, for instance, uh, mine. Um, that is. Yeah, the rest is yours. Uh oh. I think there's a Kaylee here. There is. I'm going to take her straight outside before she sees the drudgery. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Mike. And that's hers too. She pees every time she sees me. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's wearing a hoodie. So she's in cog he's incognito. She's? My, yeah, this is own. great, isn't it, Kevin? The restream bot thingy. Now, you, you guys mentioned it a few times. I'm guessing that you're joking now. But. I mean, it could be them being toxic or... Toxic? No, Kevin's not toxic. Kevin's the nicest guy I know. I've technically known Kevin for many years. But it's one of those where I've known of him because he was, like the, he was the manager at our store for a while. And then he became like community person at Lego for a long time, so I've known of him, um, and I think he kind of remembers me because he knew I was in Austin, um, and was part of that group, so um, he's a nice guy. He's Are a nice you guy. sure? I'm pretty sure. Are you a nice guy, Kevin? Yes. Are you a nice guy? So the only thing that doesn't show up on the Reach Stream bot, I think, is Facebook. Um, I can get YouTube... Twitch, um, Mixer, and there was one other one. Now I can't remember. Not Facebook. Not Facebook. YouTube? I can ah, stream I to Facebook, but I can't get the chat from Facebook to integrate. So. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Um, there's also another channel that I might look into. Um, it's called, um, now I forget the name of it. Uh, do you remember, where did, hey, Kevin, where did Butt Chop go to? Did he go to, it was called Coco something? Maybe it's just Coco? No. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, we'll be done soon. No, Probably. you're fine. No, we won't ever be done. Well, as soon as we're done building this, the stream's over. As long as I'm here. Oh, as soon as we're done building this, well, I have all the pieces. Yeah. Uh, Coco Scope, yeah, that's it. I was thinking of doing some uploads there, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some better lighting. Because this works okay, but yes, I think please. I want to... Damn it. <laughs> Those stupid little things. Um, Keep stealing from me. Come on, these, no, these are all... Hey, come on. Out. <laughs> Out. Um, I want to go back and rebuild... Yeah, Coco Scope is not for kids. Okay, I'll go look at it now. Yeah, do not go there. Um... I also want to go back and get all my micro fighters and do some like speed builds, some like two, three minute videos. Um, remember my first text log meet back in 2009, you showed off your UT tower, my face. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, you do remember that. That's cool. Yeah, that was a, 
at, at the time, that was also like one of the taller buildings we had. And I'm like, you guys have got to be kidding. You guys step up your game. This is my first Brick Fiesta. And, you know, I've already come been on. Here. Yeah. And ever since then, like Kurt and um, Steve Jackson are all like, oh, yeah, no, we got you now. Here's, you know, here's your thing. Here's your giant. Um, towers? Towers. They just build skyscrapers and stuff. Oh, they all have that gun. Stupid. <laughs> Which means I'm losing all these stupid pieces. Go get more. I'm sure you have well, there, more of those red neon pieces. Yeah, I and have one sure of I those have, crates. I have tons of those. So I think maybe Sunday, if I'm here, I think the next thing I'm going to do. You guys doing Star Wars? Me doing World War Two? Oh, nice. World War Two? Don't you mean World War Three? Well, no. There's a whole. There's a huge group of people that do nothing but like World War One and World War Two Lego, and it's kind of a weird orphan community because it's not really official supported Lego stuff because it's guns and tanks and things that blow up. But at the same time, we're like, well, I'm making a bunch of blasters and space tanks and space planes that blow and stuff up. So guns. and pirate guns, yeah. So it's like. What are you going to do? Pirates. All right, so we got our two jet troopers. We've got our Sith trooper. Hey, hey. Sith trooper. Hey. Sith trooper. Hey. Don't shoot it again. <laughs> I'm not worried about, like, losing them. I'm worried about the Roomba picking it up. Yeah. And then we've got a First Order officer, which I might use on my Mandator. Um, class. Uh, uh, do you have Cobroscope 2, Ingrid? I'm so I'm going to show, you keep building, I'm going to show Panda a All couple right. of the builds that I have. Hey, if I want pieces, you lost. All right, cool. Me... My face is totally whitewashed. Um, so there's a bomber. Um, Ingrid says, I visited Butt Shop only for him, but I got nervous on there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little, it can be sketchy. I mean, there's like, hey, this is the channel where we try on all these new clothes, and they don't, like, they don't have a thing where they get changed. They just kind of take off their clothes right there, and you're like, oh, I don't think I'm going to watch this channel. That's gross. That's well, what that I mean, is. it's not gross. It's just a little shocking. That's gross. Because you're like, oh, fashion channel. Oh, no, not going to watch that. All right. All right, scoot it. No. Scoot. No. Greg Garza. What's up, Greg? What? Greg Garza. Oh, hello. Band parent dude. I know him. He has um, the same name as me. It's just like a chat room. Alright, so. This kind of reminds me of the um, ship that the Fets had. Slave One? Yeah. This fell apart a little in the bag, but. Oh, it didn't fall apart. That's just the stand. So here is my. This is my TIE Advanced Micro Fighter. Oh. Fashion or lack thereof. See? It is gross. He told me. He, he, he's agreeing with me. Yeah. So this is my TIE Advanced Micro Fighter. Just built this a little while ago. That's my design. Although I'm just taking some of it from like the, the TIE prototype that it's an actual set. Um, I don't know if y'all know, but I'm intentionally taking it forever. Yeah, you can take as long as you want. <laughs> Hi. I mean, not as long as you want, but obviously. I'm taking as long as I want. This I is one of my favorites, and I, just, I don't know why I pulled it out recently, but... What? I like this one a lot. This is my uh, Luker Hulk class battleship. I don't know if you can see that there. With uh, Newt Gunray. I actually like this micro fighter a lot because it's off-centered three quarter panel things. Usually it's like that, but it's like this in the underside. I couldn't get the big sphere in the center of it because that's where he's sitting, so I tried to approximate it. But that's one of my favorites. You guys need to audition for the new Lego. Hey, Greg. This Greg Garza. Has I did audition for that. Um, there's a guy in my Lego group named uh, Will. He and I auditioned for that. When did, when did that piece get done? And then we didn't hear back from him. We got I got approached. Oh, this one's not done yet. 
I got approached by them to audition. I, they must have seen the Capitol building. And then um, I filled out an application, sent in some videos and some photos, and um, auditioned. And then we, we got on a call with them twice. And then I think the problem was they were looking for somebody with a shtick. They needed somebody with a some sort of thing that they could say, oh, this person's a whatever, and this person's... Like the previous show had like a grandma and a grandson and like two co-workers who didn't know they were both in the Lego and, you know, had Greg and I had done this, we probably would have got on. But at the time it was filming in like the middle of October, late oh, November, and I'm like, terrible. nope, can't do that. Marching band is in the way. He's got school. I'm not taking him out of school for that. So Why wouldn't you? I care about my education too much. So this is another one I just did. It's a sand speeder it's a just a speeder built for desert planets this was actually a line of toys that kenner did way back in the day there was this one and then there was a uh, um it was all hollywood yeah it's all hollywood and then as soon as we didn't have the shtick anymore they just they stopped they didn't say we went with somebody else thanks for your time they just stopped talking to us so i'm just kind of like Meh. i don't need them so anyway, Sand Speeder. They also did a, a set called a um, an ATIC, which is an all-terrain ion cannon, which looks like a regular AT-AT Walker, but it's got a giant gun on the back of it, and it's also tan colored. So they just basically kit bashed a bunch of stuff. Um, but they, the toys never saw the light of day. Like uh, they they were never in stores or anything. So then Lego did an actual Sand Speeder a while ago, and I was like, oh, that's really cool of them to do that. They kind of picked that up from nowhere. Um, so here's a TIE bomber. This is pretty big for a uh, micro fighter, and it may have fallen apart a little bit. I got two boxes over here that are just nothing but micro fighters. And the wing, these wings, not the greatest, but good enough, right? Yeah, we need draw. Well, we need draw off. In the shows. Yeah, that's what they need, Greg. That's exactly right. No, that's what. Yeah, yeah. That's not me, Greg. Put that, Greg. Yeah, Greg. Other Greg. Greg. Thank G. you. Thank you. So this is the Greg G. Um, Saying Greg G doesn't make it better. Because <laughs> you called uh, both of those names. Tie bomber. Micro fighter. It's even got the little doohickey on the bottom. I don't know what that doohickey down there is for, but it's like a targeting bit. So this is one of the things that I was building when Greg was over here last time, and he was just messing and messing me. around with me the whole time. So Greg, had I told him all about like, and because you know Cheryl and Claire, if I had told him all that and said this kid has a dad and two moms, I, we would have got in for sure because people want to fetishize all that kind of stuff. That's and, gross. Don't fetishize my. Well, fetishize just means parents. look at the weirdness of it. You know, instead of the actual, the real, the reality of it. Well, I'm not going to take these out of the bags anymore, but, because they're falling apart. But I've got a, um, this is a, oh, I'll try to take this one out. Because I'm not really doing anything until you're done building that. I'm done building this. Are you done? To put this one back together. This is Bosk's ship, the Hound's Tooth. Oh, I'm not done. You took an extra thingy. How dare you? I did? Yes. Well, no, it's for the pilot. No, it's for this dude. Oh, we'll just take it. I don't care. So this is the Hound's Tooth. This is Bosk's ship. This is an early one that I did. I like this one a lot. 1 a.m. Gotta wake up in eight hours. All right, man. What? Well, th thanks for coming by, Panda. Appreciate it. Uh, or try to be on um, streaming Sundays and Thursdays usually. If not, we'll see you around on the Discord. See you on Discord. Gotta position these guys in the best way possible. Yeah, I got a bunch of other ones. I gotta shoot Dad. Hey, Dad. Oh hey. my God. Hey, hey. Some two bags. No. <laughs> And then, of course, I've got all the actual micro fighters, too. So you're all done? Mm -hmm. um, 
So what should we do now? I don't have anything to build. I'll make sure to check my Discord. You want to go check your Discord? He said check yeah. Um, give me random pieces. I'll build something. Random pieces. Um, you want to take something apart? Sure. That's boring. Um, no, they're, they're photos. Oh. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't either. I can't really tell what that is. I'll have to look at those later. So, <laughs> he made Pepe. Pepe. So here's your oh, battle right. pack. It's got all your jet troopers and your whatever speeder this is on the front of it with your guy. This is your World War II stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you there. Give me pieces. I really have pieces. I'm going to take all pieces. these extra pieces. So here's your extra pieces, if you can see these. That's probably a good piece. This tile's pretty good because it's got a little marking on it. It's not a sticker, so that's good. Uh, we're a little delayed. Of course we're a little delayed, Dad. No, I mean, like, on the camera, we're delayed for some reason. I don't know what happened there. Uh, video later, gotta catch cars for y'all. Have fun! Yeah, good luck with the storm tonight, all you local people. I don't know what's gonna happen. All right. I don't have a lot of extra pieces to build with, Greg. Just Except give me a handful of pieces. All right. Um, from that giant bin you have. How about this? What's your dream Lego IP partnership? Something has something has has never happened before. Oh, okay. Here you go. Build that. Build that. Isn't this your thingy? My thingy? No, no. These are just this is stuff that I took apart. This is just the like. This stuff I took apart. New stuff. I got rid of the other one. I emptied it all out. I was all done with it. Um, this is all new stuff. Like I just bought some Star Wars sets that I then took apart. I've got a bunch of stuff over here that I took apart. What's oh, your dream yeah. IP Lego yeah. partnership? Huh. That's a, it's a Easter Island head. Easter Island head. I made, we made a couple golf course holes that I have to, oh, don't lose these. I gotta do these. Kevin, I would love to do, and this is something I thought about back in the day when these guys were young. You lose the pieces. I don't know. Um, I wanted to do Phineas and Ferb. Um, yeah. Well, I wanted to do Phineas and Ferb, and I thought it would be a good choice because it was a Disney thing, and Disney had just started doing a bunch of Lego designs, and this is before Disney bought Star Wars. Um, I thought Phineas and Ferb would be a great product, a great line, because they built so much stuff in the show. Ah, yeah. I thought it would be a great bit to have all the, um, yeah, my phones, I don't care about my phone right now. Um, they had a lot of different characters from the family. They could have done a really neat um, bit with Perry the platypus. You could have built, very good. Um, I mean, very good. <laughs> you could have done uh, the giant ball that, they built the eight ball to go around. Um, anything, you know, giant robot dogs, big golf courses, rockets. Giant robot dogs? That's not... Yeah, they did a, a robot dog. They did? Yeah. How do you know this show? Because, I okay, know? so, because I went through, like, the Wikipedia page and found everything that they built and was like, these are the things that I'm going to design as a Lego set. So I have a, a document out there that's got everything that I was going to design for Phineas and Ferb. And then I was talking to a bunch of people. Phineas, droids, and Ferb bots. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, there, you could have had extra figures that were them, or they could have just, you know, brick built bigger ones of them. I thought it would have been a great line. The problem is, it's not as popular as it was. I don't think it was ever, like, super popular. It's not Trolls or Disney Princesses or um, Star Wars kind of level big. Um, not even, like, Cars or uh, Toy Story, right? You have to kind of be a parent to know it's there. So that was a. That was kind of a drawback, was that I thought it'd be a good idea, but I don't think it would have had a, a market to sell. So um, the other thing that I wanted to do might need a move, yeah. was um, I'm going to keep these because these belong to somebody. Just those two? Just the numbered bricks. These belong to one of the members of our lug. We get these numbered bricks, and it's usually for... You can form on this. No, I don't need these. I just need the numbered bricks to give back to James or something. 
I also wanted to do, um, to do, 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 do. suddenly I'm JD from, or DJ from, what is that? Last Jedi. Um, I also wanted to do a series of scenes of, uh, behind the scenes of Star Wars, of them like filming certain things. Um, the, I got the idea from doing, uh, from watching kind of those behind the scenes things where they had a guy dressed up as the Wampa. And he was basically on those painter stilts and he had a big costume on and they took off his head and they were kind of helping him walk through the snow. And at one point he fell over. Um, and then you could see all the camera equipment around it. And I thought that'd be a great scene. A couple scenes like having the snow cats and the film equipment. And you could do one in Tunisia when they're filming all the Tatooine stuff. Um, but then somebody actually did it. Like somebody built it out of Lego and has the, the guy holding the boom Mike and he's got nothing. He's not wearing anything but those pink shorts from the seventies, right? And he's got big hair and his headphones. And I was like, I saw that. I was like, well, I didn't act fast enough. That's you know, that's my whole idea. And I had a bunch of scenes laid out that I wanted to film. And again, I went back and looked at like different uh, videos from behind the scenes Star Wars stuff. So um, and that's really it. I'm focusing on the micro fighters because I can knock out a design of a micro fighter in like a couple hours, you know, I just need the ship. Um, and I've, I still got like 70 or 80 designs that I want to do. Uh, I keep watching Eckhart's Ladder and uh, Space Dock and they keep talking about different ships from Legends and I'm like, oh, well, gotta add that to my list now. Um, there's a couple sets that I've, I'm kind of thinking that uh, Lego probably should have done. Like I've got, I don't know where I did with it, but I think like the Gunk and Bongo would have been a good one um, to do. And for the life of me, I don't think they've got just an actual TIE fighter, like a regular TIE fighter. I don't think that's one. So I was a little kind of not put off, but I'm like, you guys don't have a TIE fighter, really? At least I don't think. Um, what are we talking about? Just store-bought micro fighters. The fact that they have a T-16 Skyhopper, but not a TIE fighter. Oh. And they had three Millennium Falcons. Well, two Millennium Falcons. They didn't do Lando's Millennium Falcon. How much would that micro microfighter be in the Millennium Falcon set? Um, okay, so if this was ten dollars, and the Millennium Falcon is oh, eight hundred dollars, you, you don't need to do the math. You know it already. No, I don't. It's gonna be like like point oh eight Millennium Falcons or something like that. He was so, doing that all vacation just. Relating things back to how much the Millennium Falcon would cost. We're spending a lot of money, or we're going to be spending a lot of money on our upcoming nuptials. And nuptials? Yeah, what it's called when you get married. Nuptials. No, it's not. It's called getting married. It's a fancy way of saying it. Well, now you get to pick that up. No, um, so getting married is expensive. And if you and you can cut corners by doing certain things like we know a person who is a photographer, we know somebody who can make cakes. We know a um, we're, we know a T Rex. We know that we're gonna do probably karaoke instead of a DJ, um, or both. We could just have a playlist and the karaoke. Um, so we're trying to not spend as much as we need to or have to. Um, so instead of you know ten to twelve thousand dollars, hopefully we'll spend seven to eight thousand dollars or something like that. But every time we talk about um, a new cost of something, I'm like, oh, well, that's Errol. three Millennium Falcons. Yep. It does. Ta-da. Magic man. Stop it. So, Kevin, not if we elope. You're absolutely right. My first inclination, and this was something we talked about, Beth and I both talked about, was that um, neither of us wanted the big thing, right? This will be my second marriage. It's her first. So I would assume that she won the big party. But we're both like, yeah, yeah. We just Mother do, we just do a, um, a justice of the peace and then have a nice party for all our friends. That was, um, B, that was BE. That was before engagement. And now we're in AE after engagement, which is everything, right? It's, we got a venue, we've got caterer, we've got, um, we're going to have, not flowers, but we'll have decorations. She's getting a day of coordinator. Um, we're, you know, doing all this kind of stuff. Um, bartender, probably a day of coordinator. Uh, we're going to yes. get insurance. We're going to have to do a dress. And then this is my best man. So we're going to have to get suits or tuxes or whatever. Um, yeah. 
He's also going to plan my bachelor party, which means we're going to be playing Minecraft or Super Smash Brothers or something like no, that. No, we're going to be doing karaoke because it's the do... only thing I know that you like. What's the only thing you know that I like? You're digging through a bucket of Lego. We're not going to be... We're not going to be sorting your Lego yeah. for your bachelor party. Yeah, we are. No, yeah. I'm planning it, right. so, so we're not doing that. So I've equated everything that we've been spending on to the the $800 5,000 piece Millennium Falcon, and I'm like, God, this is like four Millennium Falcons, and Beth's like, would you knock it off with that? It, it was it was, it was, was fine. It got us through our vacation. Hmm. No, what got us through our vacation is sheer So oil. I can take these apart now. I got these sets recently. Got Yoda's hut, and I got. These You're not ones. taking that apart. Why not? It's baby Yoda. It's not baby Yoda. It's actual Yoda. Well, now it's. I don't even know where Yoda went. I think I just put him in my minifig collection already. And then I got this space set. You need to design. Ta -da. You need to design baby these are actually pretty cool. I like this new line of space stuff, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these apart. It's got floating Luke. And they're floating. Okay, I run out of motivation. Run out of motivation. Well, we don't have to keep doing this. We've been at it for an hour. We have? This has been an hour? Yeah, it's six o'clock. Cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. That's for sure. Oh, that's a wrong cat. I don't Do know. You want me to I put might it have run over your cat. All right. Well, thanks. Oh, I also have to rebuild the uh, apocalypse. Do that for now? Apocalypse Berg, maybe. Let's do it. I also have to do, I have to come up with a build for next meeting, for our next lug meeting. These are our seed parts. Everybody got a bag. Mr. F. Of one by one reds, and I've got to come up with a, a build for this, for the meeting. 20 years ago, man. Oh, so you are older than I am. Right? No. You're young. You're like ten years younger than I am. Um, hey, Grandpa Mike. Huh? Hi, Grandpa, Grandpa Mike. Mike. Well, Grandpa Mike. Hi, Dad. Um, yeah. So if you want to get all the pieces back over here, we'll try to get this guy together. So my cat <coughs> knocked the head off of Apocalypse Bird. So I've been trying to figure out how to put it back together. Um, sheer will and motivation. Well, no. I mean, I put it together once. I just need to figure out how to get it back together. What is this? That's just a sign that goes on the side of it. Don't worry about that. So my dad is on, um, well, he was on the Facebook chat. Yeah, also. Down, 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 down. Which one is and the shorter one goes on the... There's this. All right. Uh, that's... That goes with. I don't know where that goes. That's Ray's hair. It just goes with. I don't know why with, that was over there. I don't know either. That just goes with the Ray's speeder that I had made. Okay, so I don't know where this goes. I'm assuming. Meowthra? Meowthra. What is Meowthra? That's probably somebody from the other movie. Alright. Je ne sais pas. French. Yeah. So, the Apocalypseburg set was a, I won it, from Iceberg Yeah, Bricks. it's from, it's the cat from the Lego movie. Oh. The cat walks on to the Lego thing. Got it. The opera. I understand. I am in comprehension now. I feel like a bad Lego fan now. War! Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's the same breed, too. It's a little brown tabby. Well, okay, I've only seen the movie once. I'm going to go ahead and need you to get all the way off my back now. No. Oh. What the, how does that work? It doesn't. Oh, that's how it works. What is this? Well, I don't know. That's. Did you bring all the pieces over Yeah, here? I brought all the pieces over here. It goes right there. Okay, so this goes like... Your cat is squeezing through the boxes. Yeah. I got the face. Alright. I think so this guy goes... Right here? No, it goes underneath it. It actually goes... Oh. That's the hair on the back. Yeah. And this is the crown on the front. Yeah. <laughs> really dumb. 
See you next time, Gala. Thanks for coming by. Um, we should be on Sunday again, hopefully, if I can. It may just be me designing stuff in studio again. I might not be here. Um, or I may move over to the table and do some building of uh, some randomness. Aha! But I yeah, did it. feel free to come by. It was nice, nice having you here. Um, that's her phone. And she's not here. Elle, elle, n'est pas, elle n'est pas ici. You know I don't know French. Elle n'est pas ici. She is not here. Me no hablo espanol. Oh, this goes here like this. Me soon hablo espanol, but me no hablo Oh, are you espanol. taking Spanish? Mm, mm, mm. Stop it. What? What? Stop. What? Stop. All right. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it goes on the back of the head somewhere. No. No, I think it... Okay. You can do whatever you want. Like this? <clears throat> Something like that, yeah. There's big clips right there. Yep. And then it goes like this. This is so gonna break. This is so gonna fall apart. Excuse my language. Uh, you may also want to flip it over. It probably goes like... Because there's clips right it there. It probably goes like this. Why would it go like that? Because these are facing up. Oh. Where's this go? Where's my What? <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, no. You want to do it? Uh, me llamo es Peggy Hill. <laughs> me llamo es Peggy Hill. Is that the Brickheads? No, it's not the Brickheads. Uh, I've got, so I inadvertently now have a, um, uh-oh, my Facebook thing locked up. I inadvertently now have a, uh, um, Sorry. Statue of Liberty collection. <laughs> oh, see, now it's unmuted again. Stupid Facebook. It locks up on me. Um, oh, you're missing some pieces. No, no, no. It's supposed to be missing a couple pieces oh. because uh, it's uh, post-apocalyptic, so it's not crazy. And now we can just put it back on the thing, if you'd like to do that. I inadvertently now have a Statue of Liberty collection, so I have Apocalypse Berg and the Brickheads and the little uh, the uh, architecture set and then a keychain one from New York or something like that. Do you want me to do that part? You can just put it down. So here's here was our announcement picture. Um, this is a little piece. This is good TV right here. I tell you what, I'm a good TV. So this was our engagement photo with the one ring, and she's very excited about it. So I took a picture of that. I didn't like yes. propose like that, but that was yes, take ring. That's how it was done. Um, which I think we're gonna do this for our um, either save the dates or the actual invitations. I think we're gonna have the photo that we put up for, with this. Um, also. Because I'm... Hi, Lisa. Hey, we're talking about wedding stuff. Gross. Um, because I've been given some responsibility with this, I've picked the catering. We're going to have Freebird. Kevin, if you're in town, crash a wedding next year, February 27th, 2021. Come crash it. We'll have Freebirds. Um, also, uh, there will be... I'm going to try to do... In, in the centerpieces are just going to be big bowls full of loose Lego. And people can build while they're at the table if they want. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the bride and groom. I'm going to have to get something for you real quick because this is funny. I'm going to get the bride and groom or the cake topper. And then I'm also going to do for the wedding party, I'm going to do favors where it's like little sets that you can put together. I'm going to have little instructions that you can print out and stuff like that. I don't know what sets. I don't know if they're going to be like superhero or Star Wars or just regular city stuff. So a friend of mine got us this. He found it on Amazon. And it's like, I got this for you guys. You can see that. It's a bride and groom. 
But look at the title. Brigham Young. Right? As in Brigham Young. <clears throat> as in the Mormons. And on the back, oh you can see, what temple should we build next? <laughs> And so he's like, I got this, and I didn't realize that it was not Lego, because it's Amazon, and it says Lego, and it's like... So, yeah, we've got some serious Mormon things, and I told him, I was like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm enough of a purist to know that I probably won't use this in our wedding, but I'm keeping this on my shelf of oddities and nerd stuff, because this is fantastic. Also, whoever thought of the name Brickham Young, genius. <clears throat> we also got this from a friend. Okay. And this is kind of popping out, so. How did it even go on? Um, I think it, this is from, huh? Uh, it faces you a little more. It does not hurt. No, it, it's supposed to be at an angle like this. It is at an angle. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be there in a second. I don't think it's very hard. It popped right off, so I mean the cat. Shut up. Okay. This is another one. Hanukkah dreidel. It's, of course, a non-brick. It's Izzy Dizzy Brick Company or something like that. Get that up there in the thing. Actually, I could do full. We're not building right now. There we go. But I thought this was hilarious. You can build your own dreidel. And it's got a little rabbi. <sighs> I just think that's hilarious. So, again, table of oddities. If you ever stumble upon something like this, let me know, and I'll buy it. Or if you want to send it to me, just send me a DM of some kind, and I'll get you my address. If you don't want it, but you want somebody to like appreciate the weirdness of these things, these are cool because it's not like Lepin or some just knockoff thing. It's just kind of made with love. You know, they're not. You can tell they're knockoff Lego, but it's super fun. I love these things. Anyway, um, I think I'm. I think we're gonna kill it. We've done enough damage for one day, right? So. Um, Hey, Goldilocks and the Bear is now hosting me. Hi, Goldie. Or Goldie or the Bear, thanks. Um, I appreciate the host. And yo, how you doing? You guys are at the tail end of the build. This is what we did. We built that. It's Kylo's shuttle. We built this, which was... <laughs> I forget her name. Felicity. Felicity's Y-Wing. What's that actor's name? It's not Denise Richards. Oh, it's... Um... Bye, Ingrid. Um, yeah, you always get here right as we're like ready to sign off. I'm like, well, that about wraps it up. And then hosted by Goldilocks and I'm like, oh, uh, maybe we could do something for a half hour. What can we do for a half hour? Oh, uh, play video games. You want to go play video games? No. Okay. Um, so I'm working on this. I should play this one. Build. This one is a. Let's build it now. Well, I don't have all the parts. Let's build it. It's going to be an ATTE, an all-terrain clone walker, but I didn't have all the right parts for it because I ordered them all, but I got, like, the guy gave me two left pieces instead of a left and a right piece. So no fault. You know, that happens when you're ordering brick ones. Um, uh, let's see. What else can I possibly do? Oh, you know what? I haven't really looked at what's in these swag bags. So how y'all doing? Please don't like wash my face again. How y'all doing? All right, watch out. No. Watch out now. So here's some swag bag stuff. Let's do this. So this was from last year's Brick Fiesta, and I have barely opened it. Right. So you got pieces. I got random bag of bricks. Mostly pink. Oh no, that's actually from Claire. Where did I go? Oh, uh, this is from Claire? My Claire. Or my Claire. Uh, Lego Claire. Not your Claire. Um, these are extra pieces that I got from ordering capital stuff. So I got a lot of these, like, one by... Okay. Or two by... One by two by six... These are nice. You got unicorn heads. I got, yeah, these are from the, these are actually from the Brickhead um, Statue of Liberty for the crown. <laughs> what video game are you going to play? What video game are you going to play? Um, I, you know what? I need to figure out how to hook up. I don't have a record card for my PlayStation or a capture card, uh -huh. or else I would be doing Battlefront like all the time. Because that. that's all I do is play Battlefront. 
some nice one by one tiles. These are nice, these little. But this is the high points here. This is a, a Ringo, I think it's a Ringo, or a George Harrison. It's a Ringo or a George Harrison. Um, I also got, yeah, those are just nice pieces. I think those are from something else. And I got a Malfoy, a Slytherin Malfoy uh, mini fig that I'm just going to leave in this bag because I don't, somebody will like it, right? And then I got a handful of parrots and an owl and a monkey. Here's some more stuff that you got. That. Yeah, so and then I got some of these nice uh, salmon colored one by one wedges. And then, I don't know what this is, but just a bunch of random parts. That's pretty cool. That's a, okay, so this is a minifig costume where you can be a tree. You just put this on top of a person, right? It's, it is funny that they give us random pieces. Um, it's just swag. What else is in here? The chat's blowing up. You're not even looking at it? How no, could you? <clears throat> Thanks for coming by, Kevin. Appreciate it. Uh, see you next time. So you also get this. This was a, everybody got one of these. It's a micro nano Texas Capitol build. It's empty because I've already built it sitting up on my. Um... Bye. Bye. <laughs> is it? All right. So this is just more. Oh, no. These are mine. This is where this all went. <laughs> this is for the micro fighters to put them on stands and stuff. Um, and then this is my name badge. <laughs> so, Brick Fiesta 2011. Not going to be Brick Fiesta... Oh, wait. Where's 2019? There's Brick Fiesta 2018. Not going to be 2020, I think, because I have to be saving for a wedding. Um, I also got this. Which is pretty cool. <clears throat> this guy says Brick Fiesta on the shirt. And it looks just like him. And it's, yeah. I mean, look, he's got shorts and he's got tacos. Brick Fiesta. Everybody got this one. So, anyway. Cool. Yeah, so that's it. Cute. And all right, so thanks for coming by, guys. Um, we'll be back. I'll be back on Sunday. He probably won't, but um, yeah, thanks for stopping by and saying hi, and I uh, hope you enjoy your week and your weekend. Peace.